This morning we look at the church to Philadelphia. Revelation chapter 3 verses 7 to 13. A church to be, is to be marked by witness. Marked by witness. Jesus says that the people at Philadelphia had some closed doors in their life. Uh, he says this in, let me see. Verse, well, he says verses 7 and 8. To the one who has the key of David, who opens and no one will close, and who closes and no one opens, I know your works. I've placed before you an open door which cannot be closed. And then he says in verse 10, You have kept my command to endure, and I'll keep you from this hour of testing. They've had some closed doors. They've gone through some suffering. Whatever closed door it was, we're not really sure, but they've had closed doors to their life. But Jesus says this, in fact, is going to be an open door. He says, I have some doors that I want you to walk through. This is in verse 7 and 8, um, and which no one can close. The point is that these people may have to witness uh, to Jesus, even amongst the pressure to conform to the world around them, even to the point of death. And Jesus is saying, you'll have closed doors in your life, you may suffer, but I'm going to give you an open door to walk through. And that's going to be a witness to the one you follow. Witness, witnessing to others is inevitable. Sometimes some of us say, you know, I don't want to talk about Jesus or I don't want to be evangelizing others. I'm just not that type. But you see, we witness to others all around us all the time about what's important in our life. We inevitably, inevitably do that because it shows wherever we spend our time, what we talk about, what is our motivation and where we, where we spend most of our time is what's really important to us. Witness is inevitable. And so Jesus is saying to this church, as you suffer and as you are tested, you will witness, you'll have an opportunity, an open door to witness about what's really important and who you really follow and who you love. Witness about my son Jesus and show others that you love him and that he is first in your life uh, and that you want to be on about him. That's what a church is meant to be. Uh, we've seen a church is meant to be marked by suffering. A church is marked by truth. It's marked by love. Um, yesterday we saw a church is marked by reality. Uh, and this morning it's about a church that is to be marked by witness. Tomorrow we'll see a church is to be marked by passion. See you then.